Hey guys, welcome to another video of mine on this really cool DIY channel video Epo where we get to make something and we have fun. In this video, we'll be putting together a DIY toy. This toy is called Strand Beast. Now, Strand Beast, in case you don't know what that is, it's a mechanical innovation by Theo Jason. I'm not supposed to show anybody else's video here on my channel, therefore, I'm showing you how this toy functions. In case if you want to buy one of these toys, I will leave the links in the description below. One of the reasons why I made this video was although it's easy to assemble the kit and put it together, some of you might find a little bit of interest here and there. Now, this video will serve as a guide. So, let's get started. I received it in a bubble wrap without the original cover. I guess it was packaged this way for shipping purposes. I received it in good condition and the first thing was to have a look at the manual. The good news is, the manual has instructions in English as well as in Mandarin, if that is what it is. It's good to check if the package contains all of the components and parts as mentioned in the manual. I would refer to the names and numbers mentioned in this manual and if yours is different, you can have an idea based on what I do here. The first step would be to insert the rubber feet part P4 on part A. Note the visible difference between part A and part B. There is a small slit which allows rubber feet to be slid inside. The same was done to all 12 parts. These are some shafts which will be used later in the project. Part C and Part D look similar, but it can be differentiated with their size. Part D is smaller than Part C. Next, connect Part C to Part B. There is a tiny projection on Part B which has to be aligned to the opening in Part C and make sure it's locked on the correct side. It has to be done for all 12 triangles. Now Part D needs to be connected to Part B adjacent to Part C. In the manual, these are mentioned as connecting rods and not to be mistaken with the shaft rods shown earlier. This step has to be repeated for all 12 legs. Now part A with rubber feet must be attached to this setup to complete one leg. Make sure it moves freely. Again, 12 legs can be assembled this way. Part E and part F also need to be added here but I missed it. It was rectified later. Once done, these legs can be assembled on the frame which is part G. Make two sets of six legs, that is three right and three left on each set. I made a mistake of connecting all of them and found it difficult later. If you are wondering how the crankshaft P1 is fit, there is a center line which clips into the frame and rotating it gives this action. I separated the frames and started fitting the right and the left legs on it. Once the legs are on the frames, the crankshaft is clipped to the frames. At this point, part E was attached to the legs and then connected to the crankshaft. Similarly, part F was attached from underneath and connected to the crankshaft. At this stage, the wobbly assembly becomes sturdy and it's a good time to check for all of the motion. Then the two gears or the cogwheels part P2 and P3 were added to one side using the cogwheel shaft part P6. Two shaft rods P11 were inserted in the frame which makes the design further sturdy. Stoppers were part H which were added to secure the shaft rods. The rubber band part H is looped and attached to the whole assembly from top as an added safety. The turbine fan is assembled using base part P9 and the blade P5. It is secured using these tiny stoppers part I. Then the nail shaft is inserted into it. Then it can be mounted on the frame above the cogwheels where the gear of the fan is able to move the following gears. In case you are wondering what part P12, the tube P7 and a tiny crankshaft connector in part H is for. It is used to move the strand beast manually to check for corrections and when there is no breeze. When everything is right, it calls for a test run using a table fan. Once everything is complete, I let the beast in the open to see it interact with nature and move with the breeze. Personally, I find this interesting toy for kids because it has a lot of mechanical inputs 
it shows you how to use renewable energy some basic fundamentals of robotic functions and arm movements and a lot more i have many other videos on my channel which might interest you please comment share and subscribe i'll be back with another video very soon as always thanks for watching